I think we're all pretty glad to be here. <laughs> An excited and warm welcome to family, friends, and loved ones. We are gathered here today to cherish, to, to celebrate one of life's greatest moments and to cherish the words which will unite Ari and Trevor in marriage. They thank you for your continued love and support and for sharing this incredible part of their lives with them. This ceremony will not create a relationship that does not already exist between them. Today is a reflection of how far they've come in the past seven years. It is a symbol of the promises they will make to each other to continue growing stronger as individuals and as partners, no matter what challenges they encounter together in the years ahead. Love is the force that allows us to face fear and uncertainty with courage. Today, your lives, which began on separate paths, will be joined as one. In the many years I have come to know Ari and Trevor, I have watched their love flourish. As they stand here today, they are each a reflection of the love and dedication their families have given them. This is as much a day for them as it is for all of us. Both Ari and Trevor come from incredible support systems. They are each fortunate enough to bring that support and care to their relationship. Their love is a source of strength with which they may nourish not only each other, but also the world around them. In turn, we, their community of family and friends, have a responsibility to them. With our care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage and the new family they are creating today. We stand now at the threshold which will take them from being engaged to being married. A marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others, and it is entered into with the desire and hope that it will last for life. Ari and Trevor, no other human ties are more tender, and no other vows more important than those you are about to take. Both of you come to this day with the deep realization that the contract of marriage is sacred, as are all of its obligations and responsibilities. Trevor, do you come here freely and wholeheartedly to give yourself to Ari in marriage? I do. <laughs> Ari, do you come here freely and wholeheartedly to give yourself to Trevor in marriage? I do. May we please have the rings? <laughs> Thank you. 
Trevor, as you place the ring on Ari's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Ari, as you place the ring on Trevor's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It's a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Ari and Trevor have chosen to include a wine box ceremony. This strong wooden box brought before us today contains a bottle of wine and a love letter from each to the other. Written privately and sealed, these letters express their thoughts on the importance of this day. They contain the good qualities that they find in one another and the deeply cherished regions which they fell in love. Ari and Trevor, should there come a time you find your marriage enduring serious difficulties, you agree to find a moment to pause and share this bottle of wine together. During your independent reflection, these letters are to be opened and serve as a reminder of the commitment and love you have promised each other on this day. In the happy event there is not a reason to open this box before your fifth wedding anniversary, please do so on November 4th, 2022. Share the wine and read your letters, cherishing the years behind you and the many years still to come. Afterwards, please enjoy the ritual of picking out a fresh bottle of wine and composing new letters for each fifth year that follows. As we come to the close of your ceremony, look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before today, you have been many things to each other, friend, companion, dog parent, trusted caregiver, and as of today, you will each add one more. As you go forward and make a difference in this world, your beloved will accompany you. Having found each other, you have made a decision that there is no moment in your lives more profoundly significant than this one, the ceremony you have offered yourselves to become husband and wife. It is by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Missouri, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Trevor, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> may you share with each other from this day on the unending joy of growth and discovery. And now, for the very first time, it is my great honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Hanley and Rose. <laughs> 